we're going to look at the file called Final Exam Basics. Right now we're looking at the sheet, the finished version. So we're going to come and actually work on the sheet called Unfinished. Click on Unfinished and we're going to recreate it. We're going to start off by going into cell A3 and we're going to copy down that series. Go to the fill handle, drag down, and we now have products 1 through 10 showing. Next, we're going to look at the title, McKenna Computers. We're going to take that and drag it across. The width of the page is now highlighted. Click on the Home tab and merge and center that. Next, we're going to create a formula to determine the revenue. All formulas, they always begin with an equal sign. And we're going to click on the quantity in cell C3, multiplied by the price. And we're going to click on the cell D3. Hit enter. If we ever want to check that formula, we can quickly double left click using that range finder, which is telling us that the formula is equal to cell C3 multiplied by D3. I can copy that same pattern all the way down. Next, I want to sum. I want to get the total revenue. How I do that is by clicking on Auto Sum. Auto Sum is determined that I want to sum the range from E3 through E12. Hit Enter. Next, we're going to create a formula that's going to take the revenue for product 1 divided by the total revenue. Equal sign. Click here. Divided by the total revenue click right here with your mouse. Now, the whole key here is that we're always going to be dividing by the total revenue, in this case, by 50. In order to have that as a constant or an absolute, what we need to do is click on the function key F4. By doing that, what's happened now is that we have the formula of E3 divided by dollar sign E, dollar sign 13. In other words, we're always going to be dividing by 550. Hit enter. Drag that down. Once again, the key here. is that we're always taking our revenue divided by dollar sign E, dollar sign 13. So again, the constant or the absolute is this amount right here. Dollar sign E, dollar sign 13. E8 divided, 
divided by dollar sign E dollar sign 13. Next, to make everything bold, I would just click on cell A1, bold. Highlight this area right here and make it bold. To create a chart for products 1 through 5, I would highlight from here to here. I'm selecting the products one through five and if I wanted to show their total revenue I would hold down the control key and highlight from here to here whenever you want to create a chart click on insert we're going to do a column chart click here this is our chart we're going to drag it over next click outside of that area and to prepare it for printing we're going to click on insert header and footer for the left header we want a page number click in the middle here and for our middle header sheet name click over here and next our file name now click outside of the header area Then go out to Page Layout, Margins Narrow, Orientation Landscape. To look at Print Preview, click here on File print and this would be our print preview and that's it